Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2021. This is the solution video to question 5. So question 5 is a calculus question. Part A says the derivative of f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus 12x plus 3 can be expressed in the form f prime of x is equal to a times x plus b squared plus c. You might recognise that as completed square form. Find the value of a, b and c. So basically uh, differentiate it and then write it in completed square form. So the derivative f prime of x will be 3 by 2 is 6x squared, 2 by 6 is 12x, and then minus 12. So that's the derivative. We want to write this in completed square form, so we can write down 6x squared plus 12x minus 12. I'm going to take out a factor of 6, and that will leave me with x squared plus 2x minus 2. And to write it in completed square form, you take the coefficient of the x and then you half it and then square it and add and subtract what you get there. So that'll be 6 times x squared plus 2x. Now, half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so we add and subtract 1. So plus 1, minus 1, and don't forget your minus 2 there as well. So that's 6 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 3. And this bit here we can write as a perfect square. So that factorizing x squared plus 2x plus 1, it'll be x plus 1 by x plus 1. So it's 6 times x plus 1 squared minus 3. And then finally, multiply out this 6. So that's equal to 6 times x plus 1 squared minus 18. So we can see that a is 6 b is 1, and c is minus 18. Part 2. If g of x equals 36 plus 5x, find the range of values of x for which the f prime of x, the derivative of x, is greater than the derivative of g of x. So we already have the derivative of f of x up here. The derivative of g of x, g dash x, is just equal to 36. So we want f prime of x greater than g prime of x, so that would be 6x squared plus 12x minus 12, greater than 36. We can start off by dividing across by 6 to get x squared plus 2x minus 2, greater than 6. Add 6 to both sides to get x squared plus 2x minus 8, uh, greater than 0. Take 6 from both sides, rather. Then we factorise this and let it equal to 0. So factorising that, it'll be x factors of minus 8 that add together to give you plus 2. That'll be minus 2 and plus 4. So x minus 2 by x plus 4. 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, x is equal to minus 4. Then we just draw our little sketch of our function. So x is 2, x is minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a u-shape, positive coefficient of x squared. And we want to know when is it greater than 0? When is it greater than 0? So it's greater than 0 this region and in this region. So when x is less than minus 4 and when x is greater than 2. So it's x less than minus 4, x greater than 2. Part B. The diagram below shows t, the tangent line to h of x. There it is there. Uh, h of x is equal to 2 sine 2x, where x is between 0 and pi at the point x is equal to pi over 6. A, which is 0, k here, is a point where t cuts the y-axis. Find the value of k, correct to two decimal places. So we'll start off by just writing down our function. h of x is equal to 2 sine x. Uh, 2 sine 2x and we're going to have to go and differentiate that so 
the h prime of x when we differentiate 2 sine 2x it's a chain rule you differentiate sine you get cos and then you differentiate what's inside the bracket and multiply that out in front so differentiate 2 x you get 2 multiply that by the 2 we get 4 cos 2x that's the derivative of 2 sine 2x so then we want to sub in pi over 6 here for this so the h prime of pi over 6 is equal to 4 cos 2 pi over 6 and that's equal to 2 if you pop that into your calculator that'll get you 2 so that means the slope is 2 so the slope of this line here is 2. Now we need to find a point on the line, so I'm going to find this point here, and then we can find the equation of the line after that. So to find, um, to find this point here, we're going to sub in pi over 6 into uh, h of x. So the h of pi over 6 is equal to 2 sine 2 pi over 6 and that works out to be root 3 so we have a point then on the line which is now pi over 6 comma root 3 so now we can go and we can find the equation of the line and then just find the y-intercept of it um, to get that point there 0 k so the equation of a line y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Fill in what we know. So y minus, this is y1, root 3, equals m is 2 times x minus x1, which is pi over 6. Now we want to know what is this value k. So we can just sub in x is equal to 0 and that will leave us with y equal to our value k there. So add x equal to 0. y is equal to, we can say, root 3 plus 2 times 0 minus pi over 6. So y is actually equal to 0 0.6848. They ask for it correct to two decimal places. So k is equal to 0 0.68 okay so that was question five if you have any questions just ask in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video